I think it's Eric Thomas. I was listening to this. When people say they're perpetually late, he said he told someone, if I told you to meet me at 5 a.m. tomorrow, and if you do that, I'll give you a million dollars, would you be late? And they're like, not a chance. And he'd probably be early, if anything, right? So obviously, it's just that you, it's not that you have the ability, you just don't have the ability to be on time. It's just that you don't feel someone's a priority. That actually was a really powerful story. I'll never forget that too. And it really made me think about how do we treat other people? Like when we make a commitment to someone else's time and they're, it's not just the time that they've committed to, it's all the things around that time they have to commit to. So if I have, for example, a one o'clock meeting, I'm, there's stuff I'm doing at 12, there's stuff I'm doing at two because of that one o'clock meeting. So not showing up on time can screw that, can just be like, you know, a snowball effect. So really being thoughtful of other people's time is something that really, really matters to me. But also, what about your own time and the things you commit yourself? When you say to yourself, you're going to work out tomorrow in the morning, what time are you going to work out? Like really, what time are you going to work out? Is it six? Is it five? Is it 4.30? Because if you say you're going to do it at a certain time, you should do it at a certain time. And it's really easy to hit the snooze button to kind of let things go. But if it was an appointment with someone else, would you do the same thing? So often we keep commitments to others, but not to ourselves. One of the best things that I ever did, and it really shifted my mindset, is I used to teach spin class. I used to teach this while I was a principal, uh, I think while I was a vice principal as well. And so I had to teach at a 6 a.m. every single morning. And I'll tell you, I was late zero times. And so when I had that class, I didn't like reluctantly get up, kind of like, oh, I have to work out. I would just go because other people counted on me. And what I learned is that once I took the choice out of it, that, hey, this is an appointment I made. This is a commitment I made to other people. I'm going to show up. It was just way easier to work out. So I took that mentality and I actually applied it to my workouts. I applied it to my time. 